Hello everyone and welcome back to Lakeside. Um, you were pleased to know that the build of the block is now complete. Um, I haven't got any components left over so that's a good sign. Um, it's not all fixed down yet because I want to leave certain things <coughs> excuse me, um, separate so that I can take them off like the bridge here is not glued down, the hinges for the lock gates are not glued, the ladders aren't glued so I can just take them out and I can paint those individually and more importantly I can get behind each component to paint them. Once they're all done I can then assemble it um, but that shouldn't take too long at all. <coughs> so the next stage is to uh, paint it all up. Um, I did get a message from Jonathan who owns uh, the company who makes this JS component, uh, sorry JS models, um, to say that he saw the uh, photographs I put up on Facebook, and he said it all looks good apart from my heart went. Ooh. Um, he said that I missed the bottom step off each of the steps at the end here. Now, when I was building this. <coughs> When I was looking at it, I could see this gap under the steps and I kind of queried it, but I didn't really take much notice of it. I just thought, okay, there's a gap. And what it was, was that there's a bottom step to slip under. Um, and I had two steps left over, so that kind of made sense. So that was no issue. It was just a case of getting the steps and slipping in, into the gap, which I had. So thank you Jonathan for pointing that out because um, had you not I wouldn't have actually uh, done that. Um, and I must admit the, the gap was kind of annoying me a bit because it, it just didn't look right. So anyway the bottom steps are now on um, and yeah it's all complete. Uh, I guess the trickiest part of the whole build was doing the hinges for the block gates. They're not difficult, they're just incredibly fiddly. Um, but after I did one, then the other, there's four altogether, one for each gate. And once I did one, I knew how it worked and went together. Then the other three went together very quickly. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's now all ready for painting. Now I'm gonna have to handle this carefully because as I say, the, there's n a lot of the stuff is not fixed or glued into position yet for the reasons why I've said. So I'll just have to lift this up very carefully and show you so far. Hopefully you can see that all okay. That's that end. And that's that end. And of course this bit here is the water level. That end and the water level will be this part here at the other end. So that is the way you will see it on the layout because this end is the high end for the water and this will go towards the castle that end and, and the tunnel and then this will then carry on at a lower level the water will carry on at a lower level leading off to the viaduct. So that's the way it will appear on on the camera anyway, to people who see it on the um, layout, viewing it from this side. You probably won't ever view it from this side because the wall of the, of the barn is here, of the layout is here. So I doubt if anybody's going to get around this side to see that view, they'll be viewing it from here. Um, <coughs> So the lock gates operate, they, they turn, these are not fixed yet. I've put on the details on the lock gates, and I'll show you if I lift one up. There. You can see I've put on the mechanism for the sluice gates. There's a, a bar going down here, which you probably won't be able to see, but there's a um, a notch bar so that when you turn the handle it engages in this and opens up the sluice gates. 
that's the hinge here and that rotates um, and that's the pin at the bottom there just here that's the pin which locates into the into the water if you like the, the base um, I will leave that out actually so my next job I'll take these off uh, my next job is to paint this area the walls the, the top the paving and everything else. The only thing I won't paint just yet is the water because there's things I want to do with that um, and I want to do that last. Uh, so I need to take the ladders off there and I'll take these out. These are a very tight fit so I will leave that for the moment and I will take those off before I start painting. <coughs> so that's the basic minus these two gates. That's the basic now of what I've got to paint. So it's the side walls here and the top and the ends but not yet yeah, anyway the water here and here but everything else I can paint. And then I can assemble it and then I can do the water once this is installed onto lakeside so that I get no visible join here when I join up with the water on lakeside and obviously this end too. I've seen, well I was given some photographs of a chap who had built one of these um, exact kits and it is absolutely gorgeous what he's done. It's, it's fantastic what he's done with the painting and the weathering and so forth. So I've got a very good reference now of how I want to achieve the painting and the finish of this. Um, so there we go. The build's all done. The next part is the painting and the installation and then assembling the gates etc. onto this and then I can install it into Lakeside. So that would be the very first part of a canal in place. So things are looking good. Um, I, I, I said to you in a couple of videos ago that I'm determined to get that whole side complete, which includes the, not just the canal, but the lake as well. Um, so this, this is the bit really which was holding me up. So, just a short video to show you the progression of this. Um, if you're thinking about putting a canal on your layout and you want a lock, I, I really, really thoroughly recommend this kit. It's, it's a great kit to put together. It hasn't taken that long to be honest with you. I spent yesterday afternoon doing the, the hinges, assembling the gates with their details on, doing the ladders. So I guess there was probably about another four hours added to the total time. So probably about, I would say, eight to ten hours to get the build done. You could possibly do it quicker. Uh, but I just took my time, relaxed with it, um, found it very therapeutic, excuse me, uh, which was what I was after, for obvious reasons. Um, it was a, a, a great build. There was, there was no issues really at all. Um, it just went together very, very well. Very well designed, well thought out for the end user to build. And that included the instructions, the packaging, uh, the way the components were able to be cut from the sprues which I thought was going to be difficult but it actually wasn't. Um, so yeah a great kit. Some people have said that it's a bit expensive but it's not really not when you consider the amount of material and the work which was put into it initially for the end user to get hold of and build. So for me personally I think it's great value for money. Okay, uh, that's about it. Nice, short and sweet video. <clears throat> so I just thought I'd 
bring you up to speed on what I'm doing. So now I've got <laughs> a whole, well you can see them here, all lined up. Um, paints ready to go ahead and start doing this. And I will use those photographs I talked about just now for reference. I won't do it exactly the same, um, obviously. I'll put my own um, mark on it. But it gives me a good guide, put it that way, of, of what to do and what colours to use. So the next video I would think would be showing you this pretty much painted up, maybe even just placed on the lakeside just to give you an idea of how it's going to look. It might not be, probably won't be totally installed, but it, will, it may be in place ready for proper installation. One note, somebody did say that um, they could see that this could be converted into a, a, a moving lock, so moving gates. So, yes, it could be, um, because all it would mean is making these motorised underneath so that they could turn. Um, and that wouldn't be too much of a job, I guess. But having said what I said previously, I want to keep things simple. Um, if I was going to motorise this, I would probably keep to my old um, lock and motorise it and just complete it that way. So I don't intend to motorise this, it will just be static. I will be able to pose these gates, not those, but I will be able to pose these gates to any position I want, but they will probably be, most of all, be in the open position, um, like that. Uh, because there will be a barge coming through to moor up to go to the next level. <coughs> um, so that's it. Okay, so I will see you in the next video and um, wish me luck with the painting. <laughs> okay, so bye for now and take care and I hope you've had a good weekend. Bye for now. Bye.